In we go. I hope they're okay then. We're Ryan and Megan, two traveling physical therapists who really enjoy this lifestyle and love sharing it with you. We've been on the road for the past two years, living in our fully renovated 1994 RV, along with a few other rentals thrown in, some more desirable than others. Recently, we took travel assignments in our hometown, bought a house, and found out that we'll be adding a little one to our travel adventures. Needless to say, traveling is about to get a whole lot more exciting. Just taking it all in. It looks like a winter wonderland. I feel like I'm intruding on like a secret party, you know? <laughs> party for you. Oh. Hi. Hi. How are you? No. You. Hi. How are you? Do you know how pretty this is? No! Oh, it's a secret. Okay. Look at that. Cute trees. And her cake is adorable. The snowflakes are adorable. It looks good in this this lighting. Thank you. Yeah. Act normal, <laughs> Olivia. Act normal. <laughs> you got a throne. I know. This is so cute. It's all for. She's like a superstar. Yeah. Can you say hi? Oh my gosh, what do you have there? A goofy? Oh my goodness. <laughs> you gonna put in there, Rowan? Marshmallows. Marshmallows in your hot chocolate. That's pretty classic. Don't get too crazy. Thank you everybody so much for coming. No longer. We can't wait until baby Reagan gets here. Amy's going to tell you about the food and then I'll pray. Some of the salads have nuts in them and there are some labeled that have no nuts. So if you have a nut allergy, please select that one. So we'd have too much excitement today. Thank you, Lord, for Reagan. We just ask that you would guard and protect her all of her days, that she would know you from a very young age. Yes. We thank you for this food, and we ask you to bless it to our use in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's the right table. <laughs> all right, tell us a little bit about what we got here. We got... <laughs> Bacon, egg, and cheese croissants, brown sugar and ham croissant. Ooh. Can't have that. Okay. <laughs> Chicken awesome. salad. How much? Thank you. You can Fruit. take as much as you want. <laughs> salad. 
Nah. <laughs> Veggies, <laughs> chips, and then cute little smoothies. Okay, how does it taste? It seems delicious. What's your favorite so far? This. What is that? It's an egg and bacon croissant, <clears throat> but it's still warm. And it's like doused in butter. So it's real good. Loving it! Some good stuff on your plate. Mm -hmm. oh, that looks fresh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, camera guy. So we're gonna play the Price is Right, and it has some baby items, and we are going to see how uh, much they are these days. So we'll see how close people are. Diaper rash cream, four dollars and ninety-four cents. <laughs> Okay, the next game we are doing nursery rhymes. So there's 15 amazing nursery rhymes and they have to fill in the blanks. First one is Baha Black Sheep, have you any? And then you put your answer. And then whoever gets the most wins. Birthday pack of pickled peppers. Woo! Thank you, Starfall. Pickled peppers. How are you doing? I'm doing horrible. Number five, Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater had a wife but couldn't keep her. Keep her or eat her? I wonder. Oh. <laughs> That's what looks pretty to you to grab. Thank you. You're welcome. I got a glitter ball and look at the super cute cookie. Did you get the cookies? Yeah. Okay. Some of them. Good, because they're cute. Let me see that one first. One. That one's pretty cute. That's a little bitty mitten. Yeah. About the size of a baby's hand. Maybe a little bigger? I don't know. I don't know. How'd you do I'm on the games? It. We need to work on our nursery Let's rhymes. Just say, Reagan's not going to be a pro in the nursery rhyme department. So I don't think I knew more than like three of them. <laughs> How's the cake? Mm. Delicious. Very good. You want some? Do you know who did the cake? Yes, Christy. Oh, really? Yeah, she bought the cake and then oh. she put the snowflakes on there. <laughs> I thought she like baked a cake. No. I was like, wow, that was impressive. <laughs> you know, it's very interesting to be a, a guy at a baby shower where I, I kind of get to pull back the veil and see kind of what goes on here. First off, the women are very competitive with the little baby games. Very competitive and high spirits, but they make the game a lot of fun. And so like trying to figure out how the nursery rhyme ends, um, how much baby stuff was, like guessing like the price is right. It was just a lot of fun. And then also all the little stuff, the little details of the event. So like the cookies, the, the cake, the decoration, it's all very detailed and just really, really cute. And so it really makes the evening um, a whole lot of fun. Everybody seems to be settling in and Megan's taking her place on the royal throne. I guess this is the part of the baby shower where Megan opens presents. So pretty exciting. How do you feel on your throne? Oh, this is, I was meant to be here. <laughs> no, it, this actually is the hardest part because everyone's looking at you, but everyone is so sweet and I'm just excited. I can't wait to like see what Reagan is going to wear and then get her nursery all put together after today and just feeling very blessed. I would love to know what your favorite baby items are as a first mom so that I can know <laughs> what I should make sure to have handy in the house. Comment down below. So before all of this went down, Megan asked me to paint her toes because she can't reach her toes anymore because she's so pregnant. I did not I did not do a good job. It's a lot harder to paint toes than you realize, okay? Basically half of her skin, not even the nail is painted. <laughs> it's bad. These are so fun. Side. Grandma made the quilt. Oh, oh, 
May quilt. Adding this to the collection because we have two others in our family from Grandma already. So sweet. So instead of cards for the gifts, Megan went ahead and asked all the ladies to give us a little baby book. So some type of little book and then write, to little, write a little note in on that. And it has been really fun to see all these little baby books, different baby books that we can read to baby Reagan. And, uh, and then there's a cute little sentimental message on the inside. Such a great idea for a baby shower. Well, this is going to be a sweet Her first Bible. I was wondering, how do you teach your child the Bible? <laughs> Start in Exodus. Start reading them. New King James. A little warm? Yeah, a little warm. That was a lot. That was a lot. We're so blessed. And she's going to be one smart baby. we got lots of books. I love that this book says stinky face because I call Ryan... Uh, what do I call you? <laughs> you what do I call you? you? Say it. Butthead? No, poophead. <laughs> poophead. <laughs> I call him poophead. Endearingly. Yeah. Sometimes violently, actually. <laughs> no. Case Reagan gets really attached to it, yeah, and then we like, lose it. We have a battle. So I really appreciate it. Okay. Let's move some of these presents into the soup. <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta get the heaviest thing first, put it way up there. Okay, that's it, right? We got more! Oh boy. Oh, this one's pretty light. Okay, we did it. All loaded up in the adventure soon. Now we just gotta take it back to the house and uh, set up the baby room. Definitely plenty of gifts to carry in. I'm just carrying them into the back baby room where Megan is setting up some things. <laughs> this is so fun. I have been waiting to just get everything ready for her. I think we got a lot of books, which was really fun because we asked for people to bring books instead of cards if they wanted to, and to sign the books or say something in there. So we got a lot of books and I'm putting them out. I think I'm going to put out like the early ones first and then we'll start rotating in the older books eventually. But I'm so excited! See what we think might be buying more except there are like enough onesies to squish it all together on its own for the onesies been given a lot of onesies but like maybe up here i don't know i've got a lot of figuring out how to organize I should ask somebody who has a kid 